When interior walls of homes and businesses are built, finishing them with drywall has been the traditional choice of homeowners and contractors alike. One of the most common ways to design these walls is with wooden studs and drywall, which is sanded and painted. Exterior walls are also equipped with insulation. While they are sturdy and visually appealing when dry, as soon as water enters the room, their weaknesses become apparent as shown in this experiment. Water entering a room is one of the greatest nightmares for any homeowner, and it is usually a traumatic experience, even if it rises to only a few inches high, as seen here. Because it is impossible to build these drywalls watertight, the water will always surround the entire structure and not just the front. In this experiment, we expose the drywall to water for only 30 minutes. Keep in mind that flood events can last several hours or more. After only 30 minutes, the material of the drywall structure is fully penetrated by water. The gypsum drywall is disintegrating and the insulation is soaked. With the exception of the wood or metal studs, all has to be removed and replaced through a long, costly, and messy process. Enter the world of Enduraflood, where we help you manage the results of a flood event. Enduraflood uses the same wood or metal studs, but adds a panel system that can be removed and replaced after the appropriate dry-out time. After an Enduraflood system's wall is exposed to flood water, simply remove the baseboard unclip the waterproof board and simply let them dry. If insulation is in the wall, remove it for easy replacement. After the room has been dried out properly, test with a moisture meter for any residual moisture. Insert new insulation where needed. Then reinsert the panel, mount the baseboard back into place and your wall is as good as new. Enduraflood, waterproof wall panel systems for basements and other flood-prone areas.